How's it going, everybody? Thanks for watching. This is Afro DJ Mac with a brand new free Ableton Live Pack. I got a whole collection of Ableton Live Packs. This is the 168th one. It is called the RMAC Flute Pack. And this is a collection of flute based instruments from the flute player, flute looper, Rosalind McPhail. She sent me samples from her from some of her albums and I took those sounds and made my own instrument racks out of it. And I think they came out pretty cool. Now she's Rosalind is really an interesting flute player in that she uses a lot of electronic music, live looping. She's affecting her flutes in very interesting ways, making sounds I didn't even know flutes could make. So I took these samples and made some kind of cool instruments. A lot of the samples are kind of drenched in effects, so I tried to take advantage of that and bring that out in these instruments. And I'm just going to take you through these real quick. Um, first thing I just want to let you know is there are two versions of this. There is the uh, Live 10 Suite version that uses sampler. It's got an operator. It's also got some Max for Live stuff in there, as well as um, pedal, amp, cabinet, which are all exclusive to Live Suite. But if you don't have Live Suite, you can still use Live Standard. I've got a separate version of the project you can open with the, f with the uh, presets already loaded. And then the presets are in the separate folder here and for Live Standard users. Um, but anyway, let's get and take a look. Um, here's our first sound. This one is called the Sunset Flute. You've got control over a filter. You get control over the attack, so you can have this a slower... No? So you don't get as much of the initial breath. And you got the release control. There's an echo on here. Let me turn that up. And we can play around with the timing on the echo set to re-pitch so we get those cool pitching sounds. There is a reverb on the echo as well. What I'll do is I'll close this out here and I'll open this up so you can see what's going on. So it's just an echo and a simpler. And what's going on also inside the echo is this feedback control. And I'm real careful on it because you do want to be careful with this because you can get things out of control real fast. But as I turn up my feedback on my delay, I can go past 100% so that the delay, no hands, is now self-oscillating. And I get those cool feedback sounds. I'll bring it back up. So it's kind of a cool way to like let notes ring out while you do some other stuff with different sounds with different notes. This is actually a really cool technique for using echo, is to play around with that feedback that goes above 100%. Just be careful, because it can get a little crazy. So this is a monophonic instrument right here. We'll take a look at the next one, which is called Primordial Flute. And this is made with our sampler and a reverb, so fairly simple. Another flute sound, again with a filter. It's got a reverb, I've drenched it pretty heavily in reverb. I've also got some spread control for a wider stereo width. Again, great sound, a really nice playing technique. You can hear some nice vibrato. We've got a little bit of control over vibrato, or the pitch anyway, with aftertouch. So you can kind of accentuate that effect. So it's another more traditional sounding flute. Next we've got what I'm calling a flute stab, and these are just short little bursts of flute. Again, filter. You got resonance, you got some reverb. If I take that off, you can really hear the breaths in there. They get pitched out kind of funny. I think the reverb makes it sound a little more natural. 
And again, I've got a spread for some stereo width. And that's a combination of the chorus and the spread here on the uh, pitch area in Sampler. So you're controlling that. So let's move on to the next one. This is called Wash Flute, Wash Flute. And you will kind of hear why in a second. Now what I've got here is a short loop of a flute part here. And it's going through, there is a dynamic tube there. Um, and it's filtered down. The filter if you want. You got a control of your attack and release. Um, and you'll notice it says down here, crush with aftertouch. What's kind of cool about this sound is I can use aftertouch to kind of crush the sound. And I'm doing that with the Max for Live expression control. You can see my aftertouch as I press. And what that is controlling is the bias in dynamic tube. And what's also happening, if you notice the looping of the, the orange line here, as I press this down, I'm affecting the, the uh, loop length using aftertouch. And our filter is also closing down a little bit. So you can get some kind of like, this is nice for doing chords. And you can kind of get these like glitchy, almost like blown speaker sounds. Which I just thought were kind of cool. By using your aftertouch, so by pressing down, you can affect that quite a bit. Moving on, we've got the flute pulse pad. And this is another flute sample, but I've got it looping. It's polyphonic. There's an echo, and there's an auto pan. And the auto pan is set to the saw down waveform, which gives us this sort of pluck sound. And we can control the pluck amount with the pluck control. So that's basically just reducing the amount of the auto pan, which is functioning like a tremolo, because I've turned its phase to zero. And we can change the rate of that. We've got our echo. And another echo feedback. And you can get things a little wild again by going over 100%. And the way the echo device distorts is just really cool. So no longer holding down notes. I love it. Love that past 100% on the feedback control on Echo. Really cool. Next up, we got the RMAC Fender Flutocaster because I thought it sounded like a guitar. Part of the reason this sounds like a guitar is I'm sending it through a number of guitar effects. Um, so to start this off, first I'll show you the flute portion. I'm going to turn down the keys chain. Real short, percussive flute sound. It's giving us almost like a, a little pluck kind of thing. We've got a, a low pass filter. Um, and that's mixed in with an operator, which is just kind of a key sound. I'll let you hear that on its own. And I've got a little bit of a an attack about 170 milliseconds here. So you're not getting an initial transient. That's being taken care of with the flute. Together, it sounds a bit like a guitar string to me. And part of the reason of that is because I've got our operator going through pedal. It's going through the amp, the cabinet. And then we've got some more filtering, auto pan, echo, and a limiter just to be safe with all that sound coming in because we do have another crazy uh, feedback control for our echo device and this i think is really cool for like guitar sounds a little bit like 
guitar feedback there. And we've got a tremolo control. Really like the sound. Um, I guess a lot of the action is happening with the operator, to be honest. But the flute does offer like a nice kind of initial sound here when coupled with the operator. And last but not least is the stringed flute. I'd never believe this sound came from a flute. If you told me, but I'm telling you it did. <laughs> so we got our decay. We can make this a much shorter sound. And there, this is a heavily treated um, flute sample. There's a lot of reverb on it. I'm going to turn the room size to zero just so you can hear exactly what it starts out like. And if I put the decay back up. So that's the sample as it is. Um, we have control over the sustain. So this is basically just having our um, loop inside of our sampler activated by turning up our sustain. So we're doing that with our amplitude envelope. Right there. No sustain. They just kind of fade out naturally. Sustain allows you to kind of hold down notes and chords depending on how much volume you give it. I'm going to turn that down because the next thing I want to show you is the room size. And the room size is directly tied to our drum bus. I'm using the transient knob. So the transient knob, if I turn it down, takes away some of that room sound. As I turn it back up, we start overemphasizing the room sound. Now where this one gets crazy, I'm going to bring that back is fuzz and this is coming from our trusty new pedal device so pedal is going to give us some crazy distortions now i've got no gain on this yet let's turn that up i'm just going to crank it all the way go 100 percent on the pedal even add a little treble And this is a destroyed sound. We can run that through the echo. Almost can't even tell when there's that much distortion on it. But I think this is a cool sound, pretty versatile. Lots going on here. Again, kind of surprised it comes from a flute, but it does. And those flutes are, again, thanks to Rosalind McPhail. I'd like to thank her for supplying those sounds. Check out her work. She's also on the Music Production Podcast. You can listen to that conversation, too. So thanks very much for checking this out. This is a free download. Go get it. Add it to your productions, and I'd love to hear what you make with it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.